Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review and today we are doing a cigar that has been released for a little bit and I just didn't get myself to buy one and since I'm going on vacation I figure I go buy some stuff quickly so I can add to our reviews for you guys okay so if you are um, um Cruising with Norwegian Cruise Line on an encore to us, Alaska. And a week of uh, the weekend of May 19th, then go ahead and find me on that ship. I most likely will be in that <laughs> cigar lounge smoking. And so come say hi, I'll, 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 I'll have a cigar with you. That's like not like we can do anything else, right? So <clears throat> today we are doing the the Roja Street Taco Cinco de Mayo Limited Edition 2024. Here we go. Blue and red color theme. So let's take a look at this guy real quick. All right. The Rojas Street Taco Cinco de Mayo is 6 by 50 Toro. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano. Binder is Mexican San Andreas. Filler is blends of Nicaraguan. All right. MSRP is $12. I believe I pay way more than that in our local shop. I don't know why. And uh, it comes in a box of 20. This cigar is relatively, I don't know, like sandpaper, like toothy, I guess. So on the look of it, it should taste pretty good. It should. I mean, based on the blend, that's a pretty safe blend. So, so let's get started. A little bit of cocoa and manure smell. The surface more leathery smell. All right, cut it. Draw is okay. It's like a barnyard, leathery, a little bit of clove. No, more like clover than clove. Clover, like a grassy taste. All right, set it up. Put all my like lighters away because I'm traveling. So like, I'm gonna find a lighter. That has fuel. Nope, no fuel in here. Let's grab another one. This one? Uh, looks like there's fuel. There it is. Cinnamon, spice, cedar, pepper. 
pepper, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of like stink, like not really bong. Yeah, I guess that's more leathery than anything. A little bit of cocoa. A little bit of bitterness at the end. That's pretty much all I got. So let's get into first stir. Be right back. All right, we are at the first stir. Dust off. All right, so. The flavor is... It's good and bad, I guess. So once you let it up, you smoked it, you got bitterness and cedar and, you know, a few other notes. But as you smoke it, that note just kind of warps, all right? It's slowly transitioning into... Transitioning into a... Uh, identifiable note. You get cedar. You get some spice. You get some cocoa-ish. And what it ends with is not very pleasant for me because it ends with licorice. Like those Twizzler black licorice stick. It's not... It's, it's It goes sweet and bitter. So it's not like a really pleasant note for me. Some people like licorice, okay? Some people love to chew on those uh, Twizzlers, but I, I I don't like it myself. So it tastes like that and it ends with a bitter note. It tastes okay. I mean, it goes through a, a variety of good notes before that goes there. And and again, that's only bad note for me. It's not bad note for everybody, right? It's bad note for me. I don't like the black licorice sweet to, uh, to, to, to bitterness uh, taste. But first... Bits of that puff is good. All right, so, so far, so good. I will say it's not bad. We'll see where that goes from there. And maybe that could be something nice, right? Let me take off the first band first um, so that I don't have to smoke onto it. All right, so here we go. Cinco de Mayo, limited edition 2024. I mean, it fits their theme, and it's their, their theme's always festive to start with. They change the color. That color obviously looks weird, but it gets your attention. So it got my attention. Well, it got everybody's attention. I I just kind of refuse to buy until now. All right. Okay. Second third. Be right back. Okay, we're back with second third. Second third. Tap it off. <clears throat> I want to say second third has improved. There's more of a sweetness. There's more of cocoa. There's definitely more pronounced woodsy you know. It's more bold. It's roughly about medium uh, uh, of the strength right now. And I will say compared to the first third, this second third is way better. Because it, it, you know, it, it pronounced those better notes to me. Less of that licorice, weird bitterness. There's still a little bit, but a lot less. A lot less. Because I think that cocoa, that chocolate note kind of move that bitterness to very very end and just kind of didn't even linger so not bad not bad at all uh there's a little bit a little bit more creaminess to that too but the, the cocoa note is almost like a mocha no it's like a creamy chocolate coffee kind of note so it's more like a mocha no but it's I, I i still think it's more closer to chocolate than mocha i guess so that's where we're at second third now that being said, it has kind of saved the cigar for me. Because if the whole thing is like first third, then I might I, I pretty much don't like it at all. Um, but but the second third saved it. <clears throat> so now we're into the last third. Take off the band again. Hope the that that last third is gonna do good because it starts to be enjoyable and I don't really want to ruin my day by having a bad cigar during the day because I'm I'm smoking this very early uh, in the day so that I can have record the uh, uh, double review with uh, Eric later on tonight so I have time to rest my palate and, and 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 being able to record that so here you go street taco 
uh, Rojas. I don't have uh, another street taco to kind of compare the band, do I? There's. Here's a Babacoa band compared to that. So the, the, the most of the design is the same. They just changed the color, made it more a little bit more festive. All right, so not bad at all. Not bad at all. I like the design, it's, it's cute, it's nice. Very simple design, you know, especially when they gotta make swag, that's been easy. I always made that mistake of making our design so complex that there's no way to make any swag for it. Yeah, this is smart. Anyway, last turn, be right back. Okay, last turn. I think last turn I'm close to, to nothing it, but let's talk about this, all right? Laster is where it's at. Laster didn't lose flavor. In fact, how weird it is, Laster, the flavor come up. All right, Laster, we get like this espresso, coffee, mocha, cocoa mixture with a little bit of creaminess and sweetness that ends with that espresso bitterness, which is totally fine. I'm okay with that. And then you get woodsiness, you get tingly pepper, Last is where's that? Last is good. Last I cannot. No problem. Last is good. Now, Last at time has this nutmeg kind of taste, but not every puff. Not every puff. Okay. So, where's, where does that place this cigar? Now, now, you guys already know I don't like Roja as a brand. But when we review a cigar, we gotta be fair. Last third is where's that? So this cigar is from eh, to uh, right. So it gets better and better and better. Now I have to give prop to that because I like cigar that gets better and better and better. Not like you know good and then worse and worse, right? Obviously. So with that being said, I think it's relatively good cigar. It kind of got saved by the uh, second and last third. and it's a smoker smokable cigar and 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 it just enhances your enjoyment as you smoke it. Good cigar, good cigar. Not the best cigar, but good cigar, all right? So was, where's that place to score at? I'll play the cigar around 11.50 to 12.50 if you like licorice. 11.50 to 12.50 if you like licorice, okay? If you don't like licorice, then it's 11.50ish. Not a bad cigar. Smoking time is good. Burn is good. I didn't have to touch it up. Flavor, as you guys know, gets better and better. Stays about medium strength. Smokable cigar. Bands are good. That's where it is. That's where it is. I mean, I think every cigar should learn from this in a way is to get better and better in a cigar. So it's okay if your first third is not that impressive, but it needs to have transition to get better. Right? But I'm not saying that you should make the first third like crap and then get from there because, you know, if the first third is so bad, I might just put this cigar down it's, if it's that bad. First third wasn't that bad. It was just have no side. I don't like which every cigar probably have one or two no people don't like. All right. So this is a good cigar. I'll give it to him. 11.50. Yeah, last third I can literally knob it. So. That will be it for this particular cigar. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and um, check out podcasts. Check out our uh, swag and membership. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.